Agora TV. The world is thinking. Well, don't you think it's clear that they, they arrested you for political reasons, not for any other reasons? Yes, after, especially after my interrogator told me we knew from the very beginning that your confession was false, and later on a deputy prosecutor told me in private, more or less, that he knew I wasn't a spy. Then I realized that there must have been major political reasons behind this. Maybe my captors wanted to use my false confession to intimidate Iranians who were trying to reach out to the West and to America. Because I was arrested 11 days after Barack Obama was inaugurated president, and he'd been talking a lot more about an engagement with Iran. A lot of Iranian hardliners are opposed to that because they think better relations with America could jeopardize their own positions politically and financially. I also thought maybe um, my captors wanted to use my arrest to intimidate other journalists or dual nationals, researchers, and so on. When Ahmadinejad was elected in 2005, um, a lot of journalists, a lot of people were surprised. Mm -hmm. um, after the Axis of Evil speech, which you just, which you mm -hmm. just mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, do you think that that had anything to do with the fact that Iran became more hardline? I think it played in the, into the hands of hardliners who like to argue that there is an external enemy, so we have to be vigilant, and in the name of national security, they crack down on society and they try to tighten their grip on society. Um, they say, for example, we are facing a threat, these foreigners want to overthrow our country, so we can't have critics, we have to have um, national unity, people um, supporting the regime, 